what is a real risk from the point of view of those of us who want to make the world a little brighter, a little more wild, and a little better. Am I risking falling into the hype by simply giving up the idea that race still matters? So I, I'm, I'm worried about all the posts, the post-racial, the post-feminist, the post-everything. I'm like, are we really post? Is it really real? Whoa! One of the things I've learned from working with Kim and other women of color is the, the journey to become allies and the journey of how we can learn to work together in a way that's, that, that, that's appropriate and right. You have to give something up to discover an impossible idea, or something you might be searching for so diligently, mm. which of course we all know mm. is never a way to find anything. Part of what I'm recognizing is that when we begin to broaden and deepen and, and make these intersections, we actually get much more focused on the issue we started out focusing on. Because without structural change, these issues do not change. I think the, the risk that, that keeps me up and has made this work very anxiety producing is that um, you risk being kicked out of home, right? You risk being kicked out of your community to raise questions about what the terms of inclusion actually are. For all of us to be present, I think, was part of that risk-taking. And I think about it all the time, even when in relation to these conversations. I like very controlled conversations. I like the guest in front of me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you. Yay. I like to know what's happening next. I like to be in charge. And this all makes me very nervous. And I love it. So thank you all for being on this journey. We've thank got you. more to share. It's time for the woman to rise up. It's time for the men to make a stand. It's time for the shout.